It took me a while to balance, but each of those numbers add up to 5 million. I don't even understand what that number looks like. My quick research shows that 62,000 people attended the Super Bowl yesterday. The most number of people I've ever been around is 76 and a half thousand, and that weirdly was at the Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. Why do people drink this? It's like a, fa a lime was put in front of a fan, the fan blew against the lime, they captured whatever came off of that lime, were like, that's enough flavor for this. So why does this number matter? See, on Friday, I posted a video that has reached 5 million views in 48 hours. And to me, that's mind blowing. But I've got to do the same again now. Also, these guys are starting to get a little bit cannibalistic, which is lovely. I'm, I'm all for it. Can you see his body down here? Yeah, lovely. The video was about these gloves. And there's something you need to understand about TikTok. The way the algorithm works, it does such a good job of giving a video that is similar or an update to something to the same people that have already seen that first video. So essentially, if someone sees my video and I make a very similar video as a follow up to it, it's very likely gonna get sent to those same people. So if you make content on TikTok, it is within your best interests to make series that constantly have follow up. So the follow up today is a milk honey hand wax. What happens if I wear it? <laughs> Lovely stuff. To clear skin, hydrating and moisturizing, delicate and smooth. Lovely, all right. Let's test my skin now. Should probably shut the door so Rugi can't get in. Again, pretty unhappy face, not good. These like weird Chinese products are so weird. I just, I also can't stop myself from just buying them. Okay, take the ring off, gladly. Just stupid jokes. Oh, what? <sighs> Different finger, wow, Oliver. I didn't know you were a magician. I don't know how much to use. It says to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and it makes a nice mask. I'm expecting to be like that Elmer's glue that you can just peel off. I might be here for a while. I'm getting too dizzy, so I'm gonna use a fan. So while we do this, I'll kind of give away, wow, my TikTok secret for major success. It's not, it's not really what it is, but with what I mentioned about series on TikTok and how just the algorithm is so good at serving people with videos they're interested in, I think a lot of creators just don't realize that this is something you can capitalize on. I've just realized that there's nothing down here from this fan. It's only like here. But essentially my whole like branding ploy it seems kind of, it seems kind of schemey, and I, I really don't want it to be that way, but I would prefer to market products in a Trojan horse type of, type of manner. So I want to create a video that's entertaining and have the product fit in as an essential part of that story versus the whole story being around that product. I hate the idea of just pushing and selling. I think I need more on. Yeah, and it, it's not. Let's put more on. Put m the more on needs to put more on. Screw it. Let's just get let's get all up in there. Oh no! This is I guess application number three. I just want to make sure it's completely covered. I'm looking at my PS4 that's in a cubby down there because I haven't played it in maybe a month, maybe more. I do really like playing video games for like a couple of hours at a time, maybe. But once I stop playing, I kind of lose a lot of the desire to play. And I think the re what's gonna get me back into playing at any time is a friend or a, like my cousin likes to play every now and again, asking me to hop on the sticks. And then it's a problem because once I get a few hours in, I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna get better at this. I wanna enjoy this more. 
and it's just a downward spiral. I can control myself. I have to unplug it each time, give myself more of a resistance barrier, a, a greater barrier to not play. It's really starting to harden between my fingers now. It's funny, the wax in the hand glove, that almost immediately hardened. And I see bits of wax on the floor here now as well. Oh no, I've got my hair stuck in it. I'm almost there. I've been reading this book recently. I'm grabbing my tea. It's called The Inner Work, which I could have just told you. But it's been really helping me come to an understanding that the things that don't go well in your life, you can either look at them as though, you know, something went wrong, it's my fault, I've got to now deal with it, or you can allow them to be what they are. I'll give you an example. I, I've been trying to work with this talent manager and he just hasn't been responding. He's been really flaky and every time he'll come back and apologize and like, yeah, let's jump on a call, let's get this going. And I'm at the point now where it's just happened too many times and he seems too flaky at this point in the potential partnership that I'm calling it quits. I'm just like, I'm not. If that's how you are now, imagine where you are down the road. But I, I just remember feeling terrible about not hearing, sorry, about, yeah, not getting a response about like trying to deal with his unprofessionalism is how I'll categorize it. And while I think there's room to think about, well, perhaps I didn't make myself valuable enough to him. Uh, what could I have done differently? There are those things to think about. But for the most part, that kind of unprofessional behavior or that kind of behavior is on that person, not on me. So instead of internalizing that behavior and thinking, I should have done something different. I should have been better. I should have this. Um, he doesn't like me. Why do I not appear to you know, create enough value for them? That's not on me, that's on him. Like he has chosen to make all those decisions and I shouldn't be the one to dwell on those as if they were my fault. That's not a scapegoat, but that's more of being at peace with other people's decisions because you just can't control them. Actually, since being out of corporate America, I've really, up until very recently, I've really struggled with dealing with people that aren't professional in that sense. Look like I'm gonna have a snog with you. <laughs> All right, now that these are finally dry, I need to set an alarm. There we are. Since the pinching in the Apple Vision Pro didn't work last time because I had the big gloves on, it should work now. But I'm not quite sure how to get it on. I have got finger gloves. Come here. Call me. Okay, let's point you down. Yeah. Nice. I need four. One, two, three, four. I just had a comment from a guy on TikTok. Ow! Essentially, it was in the last video I did on TikTok. He's like, okay, well, how do you move the camera? So I uploaded a clip of me, like, the way you see it here. And his response was actually pretty good. Uh, it was more like, I hey, appreciate what you do in your craft, like going to those lengths. And I wonder, I really am curious. I don't really... The people who make content, if you play off your content as if it's all real and authentic, but it's all fake, yeah, it's trash. Like, a lot of this is obviously made up for the fun of my experience doing it and something that I think people, like other people would enjoy watching. So for example, you know what? I won't spoil what happens a little bit further on for you, but shutting the door, that will come back. Okay, so let's try on the VR. 
Now I, I guess now I can grab and move you, can't I? Yes, I am scared of not touching this. Got to loosen it. It does work, I can get in. All right, screen recording. What do I want to watch? Let's do... Uh, P pull with out fingers. Teen born without fingers. And here's me doing this stupidity. Okay, let's try typing this time. Actually, We can connect to my computer. Yeah. Connecting slowly. Unable. Do I need to unlock first? I'm going to do a fake password so you can just, you know, pretend. Now my real password. Oliver, cut this out. Oh, we're in. Connect. Oh, it's happening. Oops. Oh my gosh, it looks like you're pushing through the screen. Okay, I don't want to, I'm going to try and touch type, but I don't want to, my keyboard. So, oh, here we go. I have a keyboard cover with all the Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts. Okay. I really don't need this on anymore. I'm finger typing like a boomer. What if I do a speed typing test? Got six minutes left and I am thirsty as hell. One minute test. You know what? I don't need that. Oh no, I do need that. Despite media portrayal. Oh gosh, after. Steve Irwin. Well, after this, I would teach boomers how to touch type. The average typist is 36 and I got 27. What is the max typing speed? 216 words per minute. So 216 divided by 26. So almost eight and a half times faster than me. I did. I don't need this. I need a drink. Oh gosh. Almost dropped it. All right, I'll be right back. I can't get the handle. Uh, hey Siri. Send a text to Shay. Can you ask Rugi to come and open my door, please? And now I wait. Rugi, come on in! Duda, I can hear you as well. I think I can hear him. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> Rugi! Oh, hi, buddy, can you come in? <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you've got a drink. Can I have some drink, please? Thank you, buddy. You saved me. Ew. Ew. Daddy. Yeah, I got finger gloves on. Mmm. Yeah. That's some really good water, Rugi. Mmm, <laughs> fresh and hydrated now. Bit of back swell in there. What are you up to, buddy? <gasps> That's my timer. Nice. Okay, I can take these off. Hello, Duda. Okay, it's taking. 
How do I get this off, Rugi? This is either going to be really satisfying or horribly dissatisfying. God, they look even more dry. Uh. Yeah, can I have the lid, please? Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we don't play with that one. He's just picked up smelling salts. <laughs> that drawer that I got these like mini finger condoms from is just full of weird things I buy for videos. And so he never knows what he's going to get in there. Oh, in the hair. Okay, this is taking forever to get off, so. I don't think it even moved. Still unhappy. <laughs> yeah? Why does my skin look more dry and dead than when I started? This is taking way too long. I'm gonna go and try and wash it off. Oh, Rugi, it's time to eat. Should we go have lunch? Just been editing it and we realized that the, m we realized, I realized the most important part of any TikTok is the first three seconds. And so I like to use pretty alarming clips and I, was under the impression that this would peel off my skin really well, but it hasn't done it as good as I think it could. So let's go get some honey. Alright, I'm back. I looked over the shot again. I do, I quite like it. But I feel like it could be better and I... I think I may as well just try it to try and make it better. So I'm going to open the door this time. Let's just do it. Well, I need it to come out faster than that. It's one of these things where you just don't know if this will perform better or not. But I really, I do strongly believe that uh, the first few seconds of that video, if you can, this is like the thumbnail to a YouTube video, if you consider it like that. So if you consider the words you're saying to be the title and then the visuals to be the thumbnail, if I could spit it out. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, dry this off and then get a shot. Notice I haven't moved the camera, but I will need to move all of these bits. No, I do consider if this is like a, a scummy thing to do for a video, Here's my, why I don't think it is. The video isn't about it peeling off the skin. That's an additional loop that's added into the video. I do that right before I'm drying it off because I share what my expectations of it are, expecting that other people would enjoy that too. So I'm trying to make it, I feel like something like that can be fabricated because it's not a structural element to the whole story. Whereas if I was to fake the result of the, my, how hydrated my skin is, that's a completely different story. I, be, I believe that something like that is very, I don't even know if disrespectful is the right word. Like I also think about this as trying to deliver on the expectation that it's going to be satisfying. And I didn't feel like the one I did peel off was that satisfying. Now no one's gonna buy this because it's gonna be satisfying. They're gonna go and buy this if they want that satisfaction. Also, I would normally buy the own brand one, like the Walmart own brand one, but I wanted to make sure that it, you know, peeled off exactly the right way I wanted it to. Okay, I think we're at the right time, but it is definitely darker in here. Darn it, so it seems like a different part of the video. Let me plug this in. Oh, and it's annoying because I took it apart yesterday. Oh, goodness gracious me, darling. So, maybe that will do enough for the room. Kind of zero starts. Doesn't help me. I'm gonna be so annoyed if this doesn't peel like I expected it to. Well, I'm not gonna be that annoyed, am I? I'm just gonna be like, oh, that's annoying. Because the shot I have works pretty well. Should have been thicker. Ha ha ha, Pasha. That one was good. Uh, okay, end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit left for me. See you next one.